In this episode of Automower Answers, we're going to talk about the ultrasonic sensor feature, or as Husqvarna advertises it, remote object detection. And we all know advertising costs money. So sometimes when you're trying to get as much as you can onto a tiny little ad, you put down things and you don't put a very good explanation of what those things are. So in the case of an automower, you might see an ad that mentions remote object detection. And it doesn't give that example or go into detail as to what objects it's detecting or how it's detecting them. And some people get a little bit confused over this. They'll come into their dealer and say, yep, I don't want that 430. I want the 450X because I've got kids and I've got a dog and I know that's got the remote object detection. I saw it on the internet, so it must be true. Wink, wink. And I need that because I don't want this mower running through piles of dog poop out in the yard or running around my kids' toys. So then what do you do as a salesman? <laughs> do you sell them the higher priced unit because that's the one they're demanding? Or do you explain to them, uh, well, that's not exactly how this remote object detection works. So we're going to show you a couple examples here of how it works and what exactly it is that makes it work. So now for all of you that know something about automowers and you're wondering why I have a picture of a 430X here uh, while we're talking about ultrasonic sensors and remote object detection, that's where we're going to start at. The 430X, as you know, since 2018, has looked pretty much identical to this, the 450X, with the minor exception on the outside of these little ears that stick up right here. These are the ultrasonic sensors. They are what remotely detects the objects. Now, these do not detect objects just laying on the ground like a pile of dog crap or a little kid's toy or anything like that. These will detect large objects like a wall or a tree or a person or something to that extent. And we're going to show you here in a little bit, you know, how this works and what it'll pick up and what it won't pick up. But the main point of having these up here is so that the mower can detect ahead of time a large object when it's getting close to it, and it can slow the mower down. As many of you know, the 450X, 450XH, 550X, they run at a faster ground speed than the 430 series of automowers does, or the 300 series altogether. So, because it's running at a faster rate of speed across the ground, if it would hit something full on at that higher rate of speed, it would do more damage to the mower and the object it was hitting. So these ultrasonic sensors slow the mower down, and then it will just gradually bump into the object in front of it, a lot like the 430X does. It will slow this 450X down to the speed of about a 430X, a little bit faster than a 315X. So it's minimal damage to the object that it's bumping into and to the mower. And when you say, well, it's got a rubber bumper on the front of the mower, what's it going to hurt? If it was colliding with a solid big object uh, like a brick wall or a, a railroad tie or, you know, um, a fence or something like that, at, at that high rate of speed, when it hit, it would jar that entire mower. Do that a few times and there goes your electronics. They're going to be bouncing all over the place. Could have possibly have, you know, plugs coming unhooked, um, you know, wires getting rubbed through because of it just being jarred around so much. So that's the whole point of these sensors is to detect these big objects, slow the mower down so it's minimal damage to the object it's hitting and it's a minimal impact on the mower, preserving the life of the object that it's colliding with and the life of the mower. Currently, the models in Husqvarna's automower lineup that have the ultrasonic sensors on the top for the remote object detection are the original 450X, the 450XH high cut model, the 550, the 550H, which is the high cut version of the 550, and the new all wheel drive models, the 435X AWD and the 535 AWD. So let's take a look at this system in action here. We're going to start out with a tennis ball laying in the grass. And watch as the automower approaches the tennis ball, and you tell me, did it remotely detect that tennis ball laying there? You know, was, is it going to detect dog poop? Is it going to detect the other toys laying in the yard? Here it comes. See for yourself.
doesn't look to me like it detected that ahead of time and avoided it. So how about a little bit bigger object, like a pressure-treated 4x4 laying out in the grass? Here it comes. It's getting close to it. Did it detect it? Nope. Just kept on going. So now we'll detect a person standing out there in the yard. Here comes the 450X, and... Oh yeah, it detected us. Damn right you better turn around and go back home. <laughs> this was just absolutely ironic. Uh, I had to throw this in there because... In the process of the mower coming up there, it hit the uh, the taller grass spot there and started going into a spiral cut. So here's how it's really supposed to work. It senses a person or a large object around it. It slows down. Once it knows it's clear, then it speeds back up again and goes about its business. It will do this if it's a wall, a tree, a large bush, um, you know, two people standing on either side of it, one person to the side of it. You can see there it just picks up and goes. So there's your example of how this ultrasonic sensor system, the remote object detection works, and a few of the things it will pick up and detect, and uh, a few of the things that it won't pick up and detect. So now you got an idea of what's what there, and you know that this isn't going to detect sticks or tree branches or anything like that and swerve around them or dog poop or kids' toys or uh, any other kind of trash or debris in your yard, you still got to clean up your yard because it's just going to run right over it. It's not going to magically stop. So uh, now, you know, the point of this, like we said, is to slow the mower down because these mowers that have this feature on there, they run at a, uh, a higher rate of speed. They have a faster ground speed. So if they would hit something head on, you know, it would jar the mower around really good. And this way, it's a minimal impact between the mower and whatever it is colliding with. Protects the object it's colliding with, protects the mower. Now, here's a little important note that you might want to keep in the back of your mind. You can turn off the ultrasonic feature. If you go on the mower's menu or go into your app and go under accessories, you can turn that feature off. And you might say, well, why would I want to turn that off? I'm not saying you want to, but... Here's the thing. If um, your mower doesn't have to run at that high rate of speed to keep up with the mowing, you know, if you get those dry conditions over the summer and it can go out there and it can mow at that regular speed like a 430X would run at, then it is a little bit of a benefit to your mower to turn that off because then your wheel motor is going to be running at a more consistent speed. They're not going to be running faster. They're not going to be turning everything faster, getting a little bit hotter. And they're not going to be constantly speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down, speeding up, slowing down because of objects in your yard. So it's going to save a lot of wear and tear on your wheel motors. Now, something you might want to think about is just in the springtime when your grass is growing real thick, real heavy and, and staying wet and um, you're getting that rain and it's just really growing and the mower's got to run just nonstop or uh, run a lot more than normal to keep up with uh, keeping it maintained. You know, keep your uh, ultrasonic setting turned on then. Keep that feature on so it goes at that higher rate of speed, covers more ground while it's out there mowing. But as the months go on and everything starts to dry up a little bit, the grass isn't growing as fast, you turn that feature off. It's still got two batteries in there. You're still going to get a pretty long runtime out of it, more than you would get out of, four of a 430X. But you're not going to have that constant speeding up and slowing down, and it's going to save some wear and tear on your wheel motors. Think about it. I mean, it'd be like driving in a city – for a good bit of time and then getting out on them country roads where you just didn't have to slow down and stop all the time. You know, you could just go at one consistent speed and save the wear and tear on the drivetrain on your vehicle. All right. That's going to wrap it up for this episode of automobile answers. So hopefully we helped you out, helped to answer some questions. Uh, that's our goal here. Every time we put one of these videos together. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and keep checking back for new material. Talk to you later.